Hello and welcome to Top Story. Expectation that the U.S. House of Representatives Foreign Affairs Committee will today approve a bill declaring the killings of Armenians in 1915 as genocide threatens to undermine U.S.-Turkish relations. The bill is supported by the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, and is likely to have a comfortable majority if it's put to a vote in the House. But President George W. Bush has spoken out strongly against its adoption. While describing the mass killings of Armenians by the Ottoman authorities in 1915 as one of the great tragedies of the 20th century, Bush said the issue of whether or not they constituted a genocide was a matter for historians, not politicians. He's supported by eight former U.S. secretaries of state, all of whom have written to Nancy Pelosi, urging her to prevent a vote on the issue. U.S. troops in Iraq are highly dependent on Turkey for their supplies, and Washington fears these could be put at risk by the bill. The issue of the Armenian massacres is highly sensitive in Turkey, where it's a crime to describe them as genocide. Well, joining me now to discuss the Armenia bill is Ali Kazanjigil, who's a specialist on Turkey and Secretary General of the International Council for Social Sciences. Thanks very much for being on Top Story. Uh, regardless of, of whether or not the war is a genocide, George W. Bush really has a point here, doesn't he, that this is really a matter not for politicians but for historians. Mm. Well, it's... Yes, this, this has been uh, the, uh, uh, the point of view of the Turkish government as well for the last uh, years. Uh, it's true that the, the matter is for historians, but for the contemporary period, for us, for us as it were, uh, there is an ethical issue. It's not, a matter, it's not a legal issue, because in international law, genocide exists since 1948. So the recognition or the debate on genocide is a matter of... Uh, uh, ethics and memory and it's a matter of uh, uh, um, coming to uh, a sort of a understanding and friendship between Turks and Armenians so those are the real issues and the recognition of the genocide uh, by Turkey would have a double advantage it would free the Armenians from their past because they're locked into it and it would help Turkey to become a more democratic country because the society has been imposed upon it uh, a, a state truth which prevents public debate and also the debate is prevented by law in Turkey. So these things must change in Turkey and the solution of the problem is in Turkey, not at, in the US Congress or the French Parliament, etc. Well, you, you mentioned there the French Parliament. There is a precedent for this, and that's the yes. National Assembly has approved there is a, uh, Not only the National Assembly in France appro uh, recognized the genocide, but now they, they also approved last year a law uh, uh, which criminalizes the, uh, the uh, negation, the denial of the genocide. Which goes much further than this legislation that's going through, uh, yes, or may it go goes through. Further. Yeah. Switzerland has that already. And also, there's something which is not known very much in the media or in public opinion. Last May, the European Union Council of Ministers adopted a law, a directive, which is binding, compulsory for member states to integrate in their national laws, declaring all crimes against humanity without consideration of period, part in the, in, the, in the past history, etc., um, uh, to be a cr crime and criminalizing that. And so the, in the next two years, the 27 countries of the EU will have to put this into their national legislation. George W. Bush's opposition to the bill has far more to do with realpolitik than principle, doesn't it? Yes, yes. I think it, it's more uh, uh, the problem of relations with uh, Turkey. Uh, indeed, the, uh, since the refusal of Turkey's refusal to participate in the war against Iraq in March 2003, the relations between uh, Washington and Ankara uh, have been a bit difficult. They are not bad, but they, it's, it's, there are difficulties. And so they fear that this uh, bill, if it is adopted at the Congress, it, it would even worsen the, more, more the, uh, the relations with, with Turkey, yes. And the Turks have been putting a lot of pressure on the U.S. as well. Yes, that's right. And also one thing that has changed is that the, uh, traditionally Israel 
uh, and an ally, Turkey's ally, uh, and the Jewish organizations in the United States have been rather reluctant to recognize the Armenian genocide. But now one of the major Jewish organizations in the U.S., Anti-Defamation League, has changed its attitude. And therefore, uh, this uh, local uh, lobby, which uh, was defending, as it were, the Turkish point of view, is now shifting to the other side. And this is a worrisome thing. But of course, again, at the origin of... Worrisome all, for the Turkish authorities. For the Turkish. Yeah. But of course, the, again, at the origin of all these difficulties for Turkey is the attitude of the Turkish state, uh, uh, which, uh, for reasons which will be too long to explain here, continues to consider this genocide as a taboo and prevents a free public debate It's, it's still a Turkey. crime to describe the, and it's the a, killings it's, of it's the It's a genocide. crime. Uh, it's a, there's a, there is an article in the criminal law which uh, punishes uh, what they call insults to Turkishness. Nobody knows what it is except the nationalists in Turkey. And, and therefore, uh, things like um, the Armenian genocide or other matters. Well, you, you mentioned earlier that it's, it's important to free the Armenians from their past. It's also of important for the, for the Turks Absolutely. to be free from their past. Absolutely. And they only can do that by talking frankly exactly. and openly exactly. about what happened. Exactly. Only the Turks, should, if they're allowed to talk about and this has started as of 2004, 2005, despite the pressures, there has been one international conference of independent historians talking about the genocide in Istanbul. There are more and more Turkish historians now, are now doing um, archival work on, on this issue and, and declaring that uh, on the basis of document, documented manner uh, that it has been a genocide. Uh, so the, the, the Turkish society should be let alone to discuss this and come to terms with it. And then it will free itself, and the Armenians will free it from the past, and there can be uh, friendship and cooperation between Turks and Armenians. That is the aim. And uh, I think, frankly, all these uh, bills passed by other national parliaments uh, are, um, I mean, I'm not saying that they're useless, but they're irrelevant. They won't solve the problem. Very, very briefly, because we're running out of time, how is this likely to impact on Turkish-U.S. Uh, relations if the bill goes through? I mean, it, 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 the way it impacted the French-Turkish relations for a couple of weeks and months, Turks, uh, the Turkish state is, is expresses its discontent, and, that's, and then things are forgotten. And because, as I said, these bills are irrelevant; they don't change anything, and, and they don't change Turkey's attitude. They don't change; they won't change in the long run relations with with other countries. And uh, but. I mean, uh, that, that's, that the main I'm, thing is that... I'm the going Turkey to have to stop you there, I'm afraid. That's all we have time for tonight. Uh, thanks to Ali Kazanji Gil of the International Council for Social Sciences. Join us again tomorrow for another edition of Top Story. Goodbye. <laughs>